Although an uncommon procedure, septodermoplasty is an important technique for a rhinologist. The right thigh is prepped, and in this patient, the telangiectasia can be seen, and conservative treatments are tried first, such as coblation and ointments. But when bleeding becomes unstable or the benefit of such interventions is less than six months, often a septodermoplasty is offered. Injection occurs with local anesthetic to really bulk up the submucosa. Then the squamous cutaneous junction is defined with diathermy. This gives the endoscopic operator a very clear goal of what area needs to be demucosalized. A three and a half millimeter shaver is used to slowly demucosalize the septum and floor right up to that defined squamous mucosal junction. It's very important here, we don't want to go all the way to raw bone or cartilage, but to leave a very thin layer of perichondrium intact so as to give a good bed for the skin graft. It's then packed off with some cottonoid patties and then an air dermatone is used with a fresh blade two inch guide and a 0.14 setting for thickness. The right thigh is prepared, a graft is taken, it's a split thickness graft, approximately two inch by three inch. After harvesting it, the site is dressed immediately with Gelinet, Caldestat, Curlex, Combine, and then Hyperfix to tightly keep the dressings in place. Now the area has been prepared. The graft itself is sutured to the squamous mucosal junction, which was diathermy defined with 5O Vicor Repeat sutures. It's inverted at this point. The length is decided using the Cottle's dissector as a guide. Here we can see the length is appropriate. And then this graft now with its raw surface up is folded in into the nasal passage and then carefully folded out so as to ensure that the correct side is up and there is no folding in of the edges. Once it's been unfolded and covers the defects nicely and any adjustments made for size, a vicor repeat suture is placed at the very top to prevent it from sagging down. But there are very few other sutures. And here is the final graft approximating the squamous mucosal junction. And then a silicon sheet is placed over this and held in place with three 4O proline sutures. Finally, on the side of the graft, a BIP or Xeriform gauze is used to pack this cavity now, leaving the contralateral nasal passage open. That's placed inside. The patient just manages the day procedure and six weeks later in a different patient, the BIP was removed at one week and the silicon sheets at six weeks and great coverage with silver nitrate used to touch up small areas.